couple kept apart during the pandemic reunited today after nearly two years. The U.S. lifted the ban on international travelers, and as WBZ's Ania Maldonado shows us, that's opened the door to some long overdue reunions. There were many tearful reunions here at Logan Airport. People seeing their loved ones for the first time in a long time, including one engaged couple who has spent the last two years apart. She was here for Christmas two years ago, and then COVID hit. Paul Campbell proposed to his fiance, a German native, Patricia Batag, back in 2017. I was not able to sleep last night. He stood for more than two hours anxiously at Logan Airport Monday, and I love you balloon in one hand and his phone in the other, waiting for that special text. It'll be good for her to be here. The U.S. international travel ban put in place 20 months ago has kept the couple apart for almost two years, but with the ban officially lifted. Monday, their reunion finally came. I was standing over there listening to Brad Paisley's Waiting on a Woman. We will enjoy um, that we are together finally. Dozens of others at Logan Airport reunited with loved ones throughout the day. International travelers from 33 countries now allowed to enter the U.S. with proof of vaccination and a negative COVID-19 test. It's the moment many have been waiting for. And you have to believe that, that um, everything was right and, and the relationship is strong enough to get through it. So, yeah, but we made it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and many say the ban being lifted couldn't have come at a better time as they're very excited to spend the holidays with loved ones they haven't seen in quite a while. At Logan Airport, Sania Maldonado, WBZ News. Love to see.